Mevo Start Camera, and Mevo Multicam users, your live streaming setup is about to get an upgrade. Mevo by Logitech has just announced a new premium service called Mevo Pro, bringing two exciting new capabilities to your already awesome live streaming setup with more features to come. The first of those features is multi-stream, allowing you to stream to multiple destinations simultaneously while taking no more bandwidth from your home or studio. Now, I already have two Mevo Start cameras set up in my multicam app. There's Mevo 1 and there's Mevo 2. To go live, all I have to do is tap on the live button and you'll see here that I already have three live streaming destinations set up. There's my Twitter account, my Facebook account, and my YouTube account. To add more destinations, tap on the add destination in the top right. And from here, you can add any common streaming platform as well as a custom RTMP stream. I've already got the ones added that I want, so I'll back out of here, choose the one that I want to go live to, and then at the bottom, tap go live to one destination. So far, this is nothing new, but with the new Mevo Pro service, I can select multiple destinations simultaneously. To access Mevo Pro, at the top of the window, you'll see a new Try Mevo Pro for free option. When you tap on that, you'll see the annual and the monthly prices, as well as a free trial. You can do a 14-day free trial directly from within the app. Now, I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and log in. Enabling Mevo Pro also creates a Streamlabs account. Streamlabs, part of Logitech, is a streaming and creative software service which is tightly integrated into Mevo Pro. Once you're logged in, you can select multiple destinations simultaneously, and there at the bottom it says go live to three destinations. And that's all there is to it. You can add as many streaming destinations as you like, and this will take up no additional bandwidth on your end as the multi-stream service is handled by Streamlabs servers. The second new feature of Mevo Pro is a big one. By installing the new companion app, Mevo Go, on your iOS or Android device, you can turn your phone or tablet into a camera and microphone, a microphone only, or even a video source to add into your Mevo multicam production. The app is free and anyone can install it. Only the host of the show needs to have a Mevo Pro account, which means anyone on your local network can add their device into your show. I've already installed it on my iPad, my Android, and my iPhone. Let's get started with the iPhone. I'll launch Mevo Go. And from here, I can choose whether I want to share video and audio, share its screen, or turn it into just a remote microphone. For this camera, I'll choose video and audio, tap continue, and it turns on the camera. Now from here, you can see that I have multiple options. Down at the bottom, I can choose to focus the camera manually. I can adjust exposure from here. I can flip the camera around to use the front side camera. I can zoom into the shot from here. I can mute or allow the microphone to be used. And from the cogwheel, I can name the camera and even set a password to it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it is. Just go ahead and set this up on my magnetic mount here. So I'll zoom into that shot just a little bit. Whatever's inside the red box is what your audience will see. And then over here on the main iPad running Mevo Multicam, I'll tap on the blue plus to add a new asset. You'll see at the bottom it says Mevo Pro and there's Mevo Go and it shows one input found. I'll tap that and there's my iPhone 14 Pro set for both video and audio. I simply tap connect, then tap continue at the bottom and there's the camera. This camera is now added to my Mevo Multicam. Next, let's add a microphone from my Android device. I'll go ahead and launch Mevo Go. This time I'll choose remote mic, tap continue and it shows it's waiting to connect to the Mevo Multicam app. So just as with the iPhone, I'll tap on the blue plus. It's found a new input, and there it is, remote mic on my Pixel 6a. I'll tap connect, continue, and now it's added. Now, of course, we're not seeing it as a video source because it's audio only, but if we look over at my audio sources and scroll to the right, you'll see it listed there, the Pixel 6a. And of course, from here, I can adjust its input levels and mute that microphone whenever I want to. Next, I'll add this other iPad as a video source. I'll go ahead and launch the Mevo Go app, choose Screencast, tap Continue, and then tap the Screen Share button. You'll see that you have the option to include the microphone or not. You can use the microphone on that device as part of your audio in your show or not. However, any audio being produced by the iPad, if you're running an app or playing a movie, that will always come through. I'll go ahead and turn the microphone off and tap Start Broadcast. Now on the iPad running the Multicam app, once again, I'll tap the blue plus, Mevo Go, and there is my Mevo Go for the iPad. I'll tap that, and there's that source. And I'll switch back over to Keynote, where I was setting up a presentation. Now when I play that, we'll see that presentation playing on my iPad. Now remember, you also have picture-in-picture -picture layouts available within Mevo Multicam, and I already have a few of those set up. 
Here's one that loads a video feed of me in the corner over my presentation. Or what I could do, let's go back to this and load up one of the main feeds, go back to my picture-in-picture, -picture, and load up the slides themselves in the corner. Now let's take a look at a few ideas of how you can use these new capabilities in your own productions. Everything you're about to see was recorded in the Mevo Multicam app using the Mevo Starts, the iPhone, iPad, or the Android device. And it was all lit with these Logitech Lightroom Beam lights. Let's have a look. Hey everybody, I wanna show you one of my favorite features in Lightroom on the iPad. Check this out. I'll bring up my iPad full screen, and I'll even bring up a picture in picture of me in the corner so you can keep an eye on me during the demo. Down here in Lightroom, I'll tap on the presets. I have an important presentation with an important message about coffee. Coffee is good. I'm running my slides on my iPhone, playing a video off my iPad because I want you to know that coffee is good and that coffee is tasty and that coffee is fun. Today, we're gonna to learn how to solder together. I've got a great setup for this. A couple of really good lights. I have an overhead camera. There's that view. You'll also notice that I have my iPhone here pointing nice and close at the areas that we're gonna be working on. I also have in here my phone with a Wikipedia page for soldering pulled up, and I can pull that up side by side so we can learn how to do this together. Now let's set up our picture in picture. I'm gonna go for this view here so we can see both of these overheads and the close up together. And from there, we're gonna learn how to solder. This is just the beginning of Mevo Pro. Over the coming months and years, more and more features will be added. To try Mevo Pro yourself, tap that free trial button in the Mevo Multicam app. And to keep up on what new features are coming, make sure you stay tuned to this channel and to Mevo.com. I'm Photo Joseph. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.